Okay, so you know those types of presents that are so beautifully wrapped, you really don't want to tear off the paper. That is what our next guest specializes in. Emily Levy is the owner of Sealed Toronto, a gift wrapping service that takes paper, ribbons, and bows to the next level. She joins us to show us really how it's done. Welcome, nice to see you this morning. Yeah, good morning, Lindsay. How are you? Oh my gosh, look at those gifts beside you. Okay, so you're going to demo a little bit about how we should do this. Amory is going to also take part in this because this is her jam. Um, so we've been given boxes. We've got a sort of like a set of tools in here. I'm going to call them my toolbox, really a gift wrapping <laughs> box. So uh, walk us through how, like sort of the basics of wrapping. The basics of wrapping is good quality paper. Uh, you want to make sure your creases are very sharp. You want to have multiple uh, types of ribbons. So you want to play with satin and different textures just to add that extra layer of, of uh, character. Um, but really starting off with a good quality paper will we'll get you on a good track. And this one, and I've made that mistake before, which I've talked about. I've, I've gone the cheaper route and it just, it doesn't work. Like it rips under the tree. You try to put it, it just, it's not great. So I'm cutting a piece. How big should we be cutting our piece relative? Uh oh, does that so, upset you, Emory? Oh. It's okay, you can fix it by folding it over. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. How big of a piece should we be cutting? So typically people have two problems. Either they cut too little a piece or too much of it. What you're gonna do is you know, on your gift draft, you're gonna fold the paper until it meets the opposite end. You're gonna fold the paper until it meets the opposite end and you wanna leave about two to three inches extra um, for, for when you flip over, which I'll show you in a second. And then you're just gonna cut along the line. Another tip, I don't know if you can see, but having paper with grid marks really helps you get those straight lines. But if you don't, that's okay too. So that's how you measure that side. And then for the opposite end, you wanna make sure that you have about three quarters an inch, the height of the box. So something like that, just make sure something like that would be perfect. And you wanna match it on the opposite end. So I actually have a cut piece of paper. So now we'll get into the actual wrapping of the gift. So I couldn't actually cut on camera because there's not enough time, but um, here you go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold, you're gonna place your gift on the paper. You're gonna fold the shorter end in, just like that, I don't know if you can see, you're gonna fold it in and you're gonna just use regular paper, uh, sorry, regular tape. So you won't see this part, it's actually gonna be covered by the next page that you uh, fold over. So you can just use regular tape over here. And then what you want to do, it's just, just, just to hold the paper. What you want to do is you want to fold over the opposite end and actually extend past the gift. So extend past and you want to crease down. So make a very tight indication of where that crease mark is. And then you just want to plop up for a second and oh, I'm sticking here. And you want to take that crease inwards and fold it down. So now you have a perfect, you have a perfect seam. So before we seam down, you want to use, oh, sorry about that. Open here. Um, so you want to use double-sided tape from now on. So the double-sided tape will just help, you know, make that gift look super perfect. You won't see any tape marks. So we're going to just tape down, and then we're going to fill. We're going to turn over that. Okay, so I'm doing this. We don't have too much time, so we're going to try to speed through this. I don't have double-sided tape, so let's pretend I do. Um, but there we go. Amory and I are cruising along. Okay, so what's the next step? And the next step is you know, you're going to start doing the triangles on the side, which is again, it's quite hard to do on camera. You kind of don't really see my angles, but we're going to start doing the triangles on the side where you fold down. Um, and then just as long as you use double sided tape throughout the whole thing, you want uh, the triangles to just kind of match up like that. I don't know how well you can see that. It's kind of hard to do it from over here, but what I do have for you is I have a gift that's already been, you know, done up. And you can see, um, I don't know how well you can see, but you can see that there's no tape marks. All the lines are folded perfectly. The creases are very sharp. Um, and it just comes out looking very, very perfect. So, it does look really great. Okay, can I? Can you just take me back to the end yes. part? Maybe show us a little bit, because I'm. I, Amory's almost done. No, no, I did not do the. Look, I just I jammed it. She's gonna yours have. Doesn't I, look that look, great. No, don't look. Too closely. <laughs> I just at this point, I just tuck and like crease it? really hard. Yeah, if you wanted to show us, lastly, um, sort of how to do that end again. Too much paper. Because I think I have too much paper. Yeah. See that that you have three quarters the height of the box. That way you won't have too much paper and your folds will be perfect. But if I, I'll try to do it towards you guys, but you always want to do that triangle rule. So you want to make a sharp triangle on all ends. Okay, then you can flip over. It's always easy to flip the box over and, you know, continue. Again, I'm doing this, you know, very quickly right now. 
but you just want to have very, very tight ends. I usually fold this side up so that they meet perfectly like that. And then you can fold this side up. Again, you would use double-sided tape to hold everything in place, but it would just look something like that. So it's, it's the trouble. It's, it's very, uh, very hard to show on camera. But if you want, uh, on my a lot of tutorials, a lot of videos, you guys can, you know, watch and pause and see close up. You guys can get a better how to wrap. Yeah, well, you know what? Even that little that little tip there, because I've, I've always been doing it a certain way, but to come in from the sides, I mean, that just makes it look so much better. Emily Levy, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for the tutorial this morning, and your gift wrapping is absolutely stunning. Thank you, Emily. How did you do? Um, I think if I present it this way, it will be fine. Just don't look at this. It looks like a diaper on this side. It does. It does look like a diaper. Okay, I'm going to carry on, and I've got some ribbons to do. So we're going to take a better. break. Guys, we'll be right back. A double-sided tip is a good tip. It is a great tip. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.